Impact of depletion of resources. Natural resources are depleted when the resources the environment supplies are used or destroyed faster than they can be replaced. Fishing stocks. Fishing boats in South Africa are allowed to catch only a limited number of fish. There are strict laws governing fishing methods. The fishing industry is not able to employ as many people that it did 10 years ago. People who depend on fishing for jobs and business income are struggling, as there are no jobs in the fishing industry. How can we save our fishing stocks? Important fish breeding areas have been declared as marine protected areas or as abbreviated MPAs where people are not allowed to catch fish. The South African Sustainable Seafood Initiative or as known as ASSI informs the public about fish stocks and gives guidelines to businesses involved in fishing to encourage people not to exploit fishing stocks. Fish farming is breeding fish in big areas in the sea surrounded by nets. Certain fish species are introduced into these areas where they can breed and increase their numbers. Firewood. Firewood is the main source of heat and light for over 3 million people in South Africa. Cutting down trees and removing dead wood faster than the trees can regrow causes more hardship and poverty. Problems with that, soil will lose plant cover and dries out. Soil erosion may crop growing more difficult. Plant nutrients from decomposing trees are not returned to the soil and then becomes degraded. Land. Nothing will grow in soil on land that is depleted. Land becomes depleted in many ways. Firstly, erosion removes the topsoil. And when the topsoil is removed, nothing can grow on the soil. Overcultivation uses a plant's nutrients in the soil. Thirdly, by overgrazing and collecting firewood removes the natural vegetation. And then lastly, construction mining and other human uses of the land damage the structure of the soil. How can we restore the land? The South African government's Department of Rural Development and Land Reform has programs to develop more productive farming methods in rural areas, to improve services to rural communities and to implement land reforms. Land reform involves making more land available to previously disadvantaged people. Non-governmental organizations or NGOs, faith communities, local communities and private farmers can help to encourage and educate people in the use of lands and not deplete it. And please do activity three in your books.